street. Today I'm getting ready to go to work. I'm at the parking garage. I'm getting ready to go to my car over there. Again, I am fascinated with those big, gigantic cranes up there. I just think it would be very cool to see what it's like to be inside of a crane. Even though I'm, I'm very uneasy with heights. I not like heights. Walking into the big orange store today. It's not a day off. Although, that house that you saw is already sold. So, if you're interested in it still, now there's a slight chance, there's always a chance that things fall through, but looks like it's gone. So, that's good. But we're on to the next project now. So, picking up some supplies. We're going to build an outdoor shower today with Scott and Brenda. Hope you enjoy. Feeds them. Hey, bird. Hey, bird. Finding pennies. Someday I'll tell you why I like finding pennies. Very meaningful. <laughs> hey friends, well the day got a little bit away from me. Worked pretty long today. First day on a project usually goes that way, but one thing I wanted to do is pull out the cool kite, one of the cool kites that Wayne gave me yesterday. This flexi foil is a really old one, but it looks like it's in brand new condition. It's uh yellow i know the light's a little bit different out here it's yellow and blue and here's the label you guys want to check it out made in england this is the real deal this is really cool uh, i'm going to take it out this week and give it a shot. I know the other flexi foil was a little weird when I tried to fly it. I don't know what the deal was. I've never flown one of these, so that could be the deal. But but this one, I hope, is going to be more successful than the other. And I did find a really interesting story about the origin of where these came from. Not not the maker, Ray, Ray Mary and his partner, Ray... Uh, did reach out to me after the last video and uh, still still working out some things to have a, a good conversation that I can share with you guys over Skype or something with Ray but um, some of these kites were acquired in a very interesting way through someone who ended up going to well he was incarcerated for uh, laundering money by selling kites and this was a long time ago like 30 to 40 years ago but this is one of the kites or I, I'm sorry that other kite that I have that says love you blue possibly this one is a part of the collection that was sold to launder money for other reasons but interesting story I heard someday I'll tell you the full the full story it's pretty funny but uh, Cool kite, nonetheless, I can't wait to go fly this. I hear they're a blast. They came around long before I was into kiting, so uh, we're gonna give it a shot. It's got a really simple stitch on it. Looks like a simple design, but 
from what Wayne says and a lot of other people, it really changed the dynamic of kiting when these came out. So it's a cool, I feel like I'm holding some history here. I know I'm holding history here. I'm going to be very careful with this. Thank you again, Wayne and Janet, for hanging out yesterday. And thank you guys, everybody who's watching right now. Thanks a lot for watching, for subscribing. If you guys want to help World's Greatest Kiting, keep moving, keep flying. You can go to patreon.com. You can donate a dollar to five dollars a month. It comes right out of your, your debit card or your checking account, however you set it up. That helps put fuel in the van to get to different flying locations, helps get kites like this so you can see them. It helps continue on the world's greatest kiting cause. And I appreciate it. You can also go to the website www worldsgreatestkiting.com and you can buy some stickers and buttons and some other things soon to come there'll be some more items for sale there that I think you're gonna like but you can also don't forget get a free kite design downloadable right from worldsgreatestkiting.com thank you again Wayne for that for donating that cool kite design hope you guys are having a good evening hope you're having a good day whenever you're watching this thank you Ian for all of your commentary and everything you've done to help uh, boost the cause of world's greatest kiting by your great comments, your great suggestions the last couple months. Thank you, Ian. And thank you, everyone else. I love you guys. Happy flying.